Thank you very much for tuning in on today's daily Liverpool news show. If you're new around here and want to keep up to date on all things Liverpool throughout the week, make sure you hit that subscribe button, put your bell notification on as well so you always do get notified. And thank you so much to every single one of you that views all the content throughout the week and, and welcome to all the new subscribers. But we'll get straight into the news really in regards to Jordan Henderson, the latest injury update and Jürgen Klopp talking about the potential trophy lift come the end of the season. Hendo is the, in, is the best possible of all Bad news, bad news. It's a knee injury, but no surgery needed. He will not play anymore this season, but I'm pretty positive he will start new a uh, new season with us next year. We are all all concerned when we saw him go down and he left the pitch. And when we got the news, it was a big relief for us all. It's not cool, but the best news we could get. He will be back. He's a quick healer. We all felt very much as an awful moment when he went down. Hendo, in Germany, we would say an animal. Um, he fights everything and if he is in pain, he will never tell you. He can he really deal well with pain. In this moment you saw, we knew something had happened and we felt it. It was a complete mood killer. The boys were happy they had won, but everything fell. everyone felt that Hendo absolutely gutted. Talking about Jürgen, talking about the tro potential trophy lift, he goes on to say he deserves to lift the trophy. No surgery is needed and that's good news for us all. We can make a few decisions ourselves. I hope it will be around the trophy lift, but Hendo will lift the trophy. We're going to Sean Dyche's comments now in the pre-match build-up. Uh, Bailey manager Sean Dyche makes difficult Liverpool title, title points anyway. He uh, goes on to say we are in a good form. Um, he, he added, we will take maximum performance, focus and game understanding and hopefully they will have a quieter day because when they turn up it is very difficult. Even with the power of the players and the manager, they have got it very, they, it is very difficult to win the Premier League. It is difficult to win titles or get promotion. I have absolute respect for the manner and style in which they have achieved it. they spot on comments from Sean Dyche. I really do rate him as a manager. Considering the budget in which he has at Burnley, he's doing he does a fantastic job every single season. Not The way in which his football, it, it's so good defensively uh, and very much very defensive sound. But when Burnley can go forward and he, a good, very good counter-attacking side and Liverpool, it's always a tricky game against Burnley anyway. I know we've had a couple of great results over the last couple of seasons, but when Burnley do turn up and they have beat the likes of Manchester United, I know that's not a very difficult task this season anyway, but you've, you've got, got a couple of big scalps this season and they have done over the seasons. And I, I fully expect it to be a very difficult game. It's going to be an absolute battle. Let me know your thoughts on the score predictions for Liverpool versus Burnley. I, I'm going to go for a 2-1. Um, I would like to go, go for a bigger score, but... Sean Dyche, I think him and his players will want to come out and really want to put a point to Jürgen Klopp's side and the rest of the Premier League and, and highlight what how good they are going forward and defensively as well. Going to the last story before we do read out all your comments as well now, everyone. Ben Winterbottom has signed his first professional contract with the Reds. Obviously, he's the 18-year-old goalkeeper anyway. It's a fantastic young prospect that Jürgen Klopp will definitely have his eyes on. I know we've signed a couple of uh, Polish goalkeepers as well in the academy. Um, but let me know your thoughts on that signing, everyone. Straight into your last comments as well from the Brighton post-match. Start with Jack, 11 FIFA. Naby was class tonight. Neko impressed once again. Hope Klopp lets us see more of Kirkus Jones and Harvey Elliott as the season runs out. You'll never walk alone. From Soldier, a great match. Great result from the greatest Let's get the record. Nice one, Jack. Absolute legend, mate. Thank you for dropping your comments in. And we go from Willow's final comments. Great match. Necker Williams was fantastic. Naby was absolutely class too. Hendo's goal, what a shot. Just altogether great to watch and an even better scoreline and three points. So that's what brings an end to tonight's episode, everyone. Hopefully we have, we'll have a lovely rest of your night and we'll see you tomorrow for another episode. And as always, Reds, Really do appreciate all the support and the views and yeah, and everyone that's all smashing that like button. Really do appreciate it. And welcome to all the new subscribers as well. As I said before, I will see you tomorrow. And as always, let's you'll never walk alone. Cheers.